and a reign of terror in Queens has finally ended this morning. The man accused of randomly stabbing four people with a hunting knife this week now behind bars. He was captured at his home and that's where police say they found the knife they believe was used in the stabbings. I would news reporter Janice you live in Springfield Gardens with the latest from overnight. Janice, what do we know? Good morning, Mike. We expect that suspect to be walked out of the 113th precinct here sometime this morning, and police knew their best chance at catching the suspect was to get his picture out there, and that is what they did, and it paid off. Uh, yesterday, police released these images of the man they were looking for, um, the man in a gray hoodie. You can see a knife in his hand. Authorities believe he's tied to three stabbings Wednesday morning in Springfield Gardens and others that happened earlier this week and on January 8th. Now the stabbing happened on or near the subways as well as on an MTA bus and detectives are looking into whether this man is also responsible for a stabbing in a subway in Brooklyn. Police were out in neighborhoods in Queens last night passing around flyers with the picture of the man with that knife and less than an hour after police held a news conference and released the picture, someone identified him and police were able to arrest him at his home. In some of the incidents, he's walking behind them for, for quite a distance. In other incidents, he's just coming across them and stabbing them. Very random, not a, not, not a word is said, totally unprovoked. All of the people who are were attacked in these uh, incidents are expected to survive.